A very happy Sunday to you. Welcome to the bathroom. Thank you, Mrs. H. May I present, as you've just seen close up there. Beautiful. Um, quite excited about this shave and I hope, excuse the shirt, I usually wear this in my other channel and the hot and spicy, but it hasn't had a, I haven't used it for a while, so I thought I'd use it in here. And the reason being, it's a bit colourful, it doesn't match the flowers, no. I haven't been painting or anything, but it's um, got a wide uh, collar neckline, so it's ideal for lather really, isn't it? Um, anyway, we'll see. So, what are we using? Master Soap Creations, again. We're going to use this Vintage Spice. And I'm going, I bought this because it's their sort of homage, their take on Shulton Old Spice. And I have got the original here, and I'm going to both. Um, but as soon as I opened this, wow, it's... Because I was so impressed by their vintage Fabergé, their take on Brut, it was the image of the Fabergé original Brut scent. Amazing how they've done it. And this is no different. So that's, but that is Old Spice, but this is the only way. That's the original puck there. So. See, it's got it. It's got the same scent. Now, the only difference is this is far weaker from the puck. It's old. It's lost its scent with age, probably. But I imagine um, if there's a minute difference, I don't know. But I would imagine this is how the original would have smelt new, if you know what I mean. It's got it. I guess I can't believe it. So it'll it'll from the puck from the original very very faint. It's this has got got the same scent. Maybe a slight difference, but that could that as I say that could be due to age. But uh, hit it on the head again. Old spice, vintage spice. So I've put some in, in the fine bowl, which I really nearly dropped then in the fine bowl there. So it'd be interesting. Oh, it, yeah. Um, when it's lathered, that's going to be really, really interesting. I'm excited about that. Razor of choice. I wasn't going to show you that. Get, get on with the lather. This is the Mule R108 with a faux sort of um, horn handle. You can see that. Very nice. Three piece, non adjustable, uh, standard aggression. And the Paul H Films brush, 2022, synthetic. So we'll wet it. So how's Sunday treating you so far? Unless you're watching this first thing Sunday morning, well you'll say, well it's too early to tell yet. <laughs> but if you're in another country, it might be Sunday afternoon or something like that. Or it might not even be Sunday, so you can't. <laughs> so straight away, Lathering is no issue, never is with these soaps. I've noticed the the vintage the vintage Fabergé soap sold out. Um, so that's been, seems very popular. So we're at the bubbly stage. from it's exciting for me because I do remember my dad using a, a brand new old spice soap which he had you know for a birthday present or Christmas usually Christmas present come as part of a set aftershave soap and uh, sometimes like a soap on a rope type thing for the bath you know like a washing soap beautiful I remember the bathroom used to smell like this. This should linger. Oh, they, I tell you, I don't know. If I, if you're watching this, Master Soap Creations, well done. Somebody's nailed it. 
really nice look at that so we're at a peak now I think that's good enough for me so I'm going to use in the razor I'm going to use remember that KC Gillette uh, blade I used in the last shave I'm going to use that again so let me get it from under the dice there it is put that in the put that in the razor the reason I you know some people might think well why don't you lather off camera why don't you put the blade ready in the well I could do that but I'm tr I'm sh sharing the shave this is what we all do isn't it in whether you're filming it or not um, slight overhang to be aware of hopefully and if there's anybody new watching if anybody gets help from these videos that's fantastic but as I said before thousands of times I am NOT an expert in shaving it's just I'm just a hobbyist the only difference between someone who shaved the same time as me who doesn't do YouTube is they don't film their shaves simple as that there's no just because you're on YouTube it doesn't mean you know everything if that makes sense so That was hot. Right. <laughs> okay. Let's get this going. And to be honest, even though I know they nailed the brute scent, you're still not sure when you buy these things if you think, oh. but it's so near, it's almost, um, as I say, the original one there is so old, it's weak scent, but that comes into its own when it's lathered, beautiful original scent. Uh, I might do that as a test actually, lather that up and... But from the puck, I can smell in the original, then I go to the new one, and especially now it's lathered. It's there, absolutely. It's there. I know there's a few other artisan and companies that make their take on Old Spice. Uh, I must try them actually, but uh, for me personally, using the original and going to this it's there I wouldn't feel the need to look for another one if that makes sense uh, personally but I will probably out of um, interest and, uh, we'll heat up the razor as I say King C Gillette second use in the Mule R108 here we go first pass Vintage spice. Wow, good slickness. See now I'm getting this is this is the uh, scent I used to get. Wow, as a youngster, this now moving the soap about and been extremely windy here very strong gusts wow that's a good little razor that. and again it's only a standard head nothing adjustable there's nothing st um, special but it works it's good it's good Nice blade. And I nicked there, didn't I, last time? So I'm trying not to. Oh, it seems all right. Um, again, it's a similar head to the Edwin Jagger and to the, uh, the Merker. 
34 C in aggression and in Lux this is wonderful Yeah, so now, now this is when I'm getting this sort of the original, really, as it used to be. For me personally, a memory. Wow. Didn't you? Didn't need to use as much soap as I did actually. So what? Oh. God, I wish you could smell. Honestly, I wish you did have this smell app. I wonder if that'll ever happen. Well, I doubt it'll ever happen, but it'll be. Somebody will invent something where we'll be able to. I don't know how, but maybe one day. Um, smell something through the screen, maybe. Really nice. What's your shave of the day, please? And I just realized I didn't. Uh, didn't mention my Sunday lunch in my hot and spicy video last, last night, so. If anybody's watching from that uh, video, you haven't missed anything because um, we're heading out for lunch today. Oh, so comfortable, beautiful scent. It's like having a new version of the vintage. And I mean, just being made. I don't mean having a brand new one in a box, which is 40 years old. It's like this, making it again. Really, really nice. If you've tried the vintage um, Fabergé, what did you think of it towards the original Brute? If you've now, you won't be able to answer that if you haven't used or smelt the original, probably. And I don't mean the Brute aftershave you can buy in the supermarket, even though that is Brute scent. I've said it before, if you get the one you can buy today, and we can buy Brute readily in the supermarket in the glass bottles, or the long plastic ones, aftershave and deodorant. Um, but if you get that and put the original by it, there is something in the original which says, well, you, you just know, you just know. <laughs> Same as the Old Spice, you know it's the original. But with that vintage Fabergé, just absolutely amazing. So if you've tried it, And you've had the original, used the original, or even smelt it. What did you think? Did you think uh, they've hit the nail on the head there with the... God, it's good stuff. With the scent. Surprised me, it was really good. So that's really why I bought this. And I'm glad I did again. Really happy. So here we go against the growth. So the slickness is fantastic. Scent strength. I'd say is a four and a half, five out of ten. And it's making this bathroom smell absolutely amazing. 
Like the old days, eh? Very good slickness. And the reason I'm using this razor, well, it's a nice razor, but uh, it's just a standard head on it, just a Today's shave really is about this soap and its scent. So when I use something like this, as I say, which is standard, everyday sort of razor, I know what to expect. So I'm not concentrating on this or how it feels, even though you are unconsciously. It's all about the scent and the, the sort of uh, resemblance to the original. It's about the slickness how it's performing, how does it lather, and I gotta say, the answer to them is all good, smells the same, smells even better lathered in my opinion, for me, um, so close to the original, it's amazing. It's stronger, obviously, because it's new. Very slick and easy to lather. Superb. Either wind. Wow. But, um, Thursday, Friday started. All right. Three, two, one. Pick up time, baby. <laughs> yeah, out to lunch. I don't know what I'm having today, uh, which is nice. It'll be a traditional sort of Sunday lunch, but um, I'm not sure what. Uh, meat I'm having or anything like that but there will be some ice cold beer involved because Mrs H said she'll uh, she'll drive fair play to her so pick up time hear that Your door's rattling. Very unusual. Oh, there could be a window open somewhere. I'm not sure you're picking it up, but... Uh... God, I can't believe this scent. <laughs> Beautiful. Cold water. Wow, that is cold. And then
And again, you know, it's important to note, these are my opinions and my memories of scents and things. And that is so close to the original as the Fabergé, um, vintage Fabergé is. It's unbelievable. But other people, it's like taste, it's like your palate, we're all different. Your memories of Old Spice or whatever, Brut, could be different. For some reason, I don't know, it's the same soap. But, uh, you know, you may scent something different to me and find this isn't the same for you. But uh, I should think that wouldn't be the case in general, I don't think, because I think myself is absolutely spot on. Really, really nice. So glad I got it. And I was so... I couldn't wait to use it. <laughs> it's only arrived this last week because I did mention, didn't I? My own sort of tea tree and witch hazel mixture. And use this for a while. Very nice. And then we come to the matching aftershave. And there it is. In a nice blue, oh hang on, we'll give it a shake, just in case. In a nice blue bottle. All oh, right, so it's a, oh, if you can see this, it's like a whitish color. See it? Maybe not. Did I see a spot up? I think I have opened that again, have I? Wow. So we've got the same scent there. Um, now there is, I think, a slight difference to the original. This is a white, it's not, you know, they haven't made it this, exactly the same, so there could be something in this. But the scent is there, but it is different to just the original aftershave for me. The scent is there, but there is a, there's something slightly different. Um, but really nice, really nice. Um, the, as I say, it is white, it's probably a, there's something in it, it's like a moisturiser maybe or something but um, the scent is there but there is a slight difference with with it being uh, white or whatever it's but really nice I, I'm getting it now you see now it's been on because sometimes you when you put it on and it's wet and you have to wait a minute yeah so the, the scent is there for that just a slight difference to it. Really, really nice. Wow. And then I'm going to use a bit of Nivea Men. And if this video has gone on, I apologise. But these things have to be done. <laughs> enough in there to do everything it's a nice pleasant scent I will put a bit more aftershave on after so when I go for a meal I'm going to be stinking of old spice people will be looking around is your grandfather here I can smell him a mile away <laughs> old spice So that is it. So we've used the Mule R108 three-piece non-adjustable razor with a faux or false um, horn handle. Um, beautiful, really nice uh, standard aggression. We've used the King C Gillette D blade, second use, beautiful blade, smooth but very efficient. And we've used the Master Soap Creations Vintage Spice. And in my opinion, spot on to the original Shulton. 
um, but stronger obviously because it's new uh, really nice works well easy to lather good slickness everything really very happy with that purchase as I say, these are my opinions. My own brush, Paul H Films, synthetic, DS Cosmetic, fine lather bowl. We even got the original out next to it. That's how that must have smelled when it was new. Water to rinse, tea tree and witch hazel. And then this original, original, this take on the original. Yeah, the scent is there, but there is a difference when you smell it there. It's not... You'd say it's that old spice, as there's something with it, and then when you put it on, it's the same. But after a few seconds, 20 seconds and like that, then you can smell it. So it's, it's good. So it must have some moisturiser or something in it that gives it that little difference. So I'm very happy with that. Really good shave. And I did nick there. Look, yeah, okay. I won't keep you. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Have some even better shaves. Stay safe, please. And happy if you can. And I'll see you on Wednesday for the midweek shave. So all the best and bye-bye.